Hi, I'm Nicole Leskis, licensed massage therapist, and I'm going to be showing you massage for migraine headaches. Migraine headaches are very debilitating at times. Um, usually the person coming to me has had them for a long time. They know their triggers, um, usually know how long they last and what they have to do during a migraine headache. I usually see them during the last couple of days when the headache is not so severe or they come to me just when they feel the migraine headache coming on and they want to head it off and so it doesn't get any worse. And these are some techniques that I use specifically for that. Um, if they're sensitive to light, I have the room very dimly lit, no scents, um, sometimes no music. If they're a little bit queasy, I'll have them press on their large intestine four which is at the high point of the muscle when the thumb and the index finger are together. Right at the high point of that muscle is a really good pressure point to reduce nausea. So I'll have them press that while I work on them to reduce the queasiness or nausea that they're feeling. I'll start very slowly. If they're sensitive to pressure, I'll go very light. If they like deep pressure, I'll go deeper. Some really great pressure points for migraine headaches at the high point of the trapezius muscle. It's in between the point of the shoulder and where the neck meets the shoulder. So right in the middle, the high point of that, I'll slowly move into that point and hold it. Any of these points or any of these areas, I'm usually holding for several, several breaths and then slowly coming back out. I'm going to swoop my hands, um, the back part of my hands are going to dig into the table a little bit and then come under and grasp the occiput so it's kind of like a wave motion and my fingertips are going to grasp the occiput at the back of the head. And do some soft traction, lean back a little bit, make sure that you're keeping your shoulder blades on your back. Again, I'm going to hold this for several breaths, so very slowly, very deliberate. They'll probably feel some release and pressure along this area and possibly the sinuses. Um, if I straighten my fingers out a little bit more by the occiput, if they can handle it, probably a little bit more of a release there. Coming over to the face, depending on what side of the face is more predominant for the migraine, I usually do either side, both sides, just to be symmetrical. I'll um, scoop into the middle of the eyebrows, pinching slightly. Some great pressure points. You'll feel a little bit of a dip on either side right over the middle of the forehead. It's the bladder meridian in acupuncture. Some soft pressure there. I'm going to slowly go all over to the top of the head. If they're having a lot of sinus pain and pressure along with the migraine headache, there's a really great point at the top of the head and you find it by folding the ear over. So wherever the fold of the ear is, trace it to the top of the head. It's right in the middle. And just stimulate that a little bit. Again, several breaths, the client's breaths. And do some gentle effleurage around the face. If they're having any jaw pain, I can go into the TMJ, right into this notch area. Do some circular motions. And of course, all over the ear are great pressure points to relieve stress and headache pain. So again, most people with chronic migraines, they know their triggers, they know pretty much how long that they're lasting, they'll know when to come to you for massage, when they feel like they can take the pressure, if the massage is going to help them. Um, if they're nauseous, make sure that you have them press on their pressure point. If it's not helping, give them some water, have them rest until they could relax and go through the massage again. 
So for more information, you can go to my website, totalbodyharmony.com. Thanks and be well.